hey 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 you guys and welcome back to the channel today's video is an end of summer cleaning marathon what better way to bring in the new season than with a clean house so today I am sharing with you a compilation of some of my recent cleaning videos I am giving you an hour and a half of cleaning motivation so go ahead and pull out those to-do lists and get up and clean with me so of course I'm going to start by decluttering and getting everything off of the counters. We had a lot of things on the counters from going to the grocery store where we were preparing for a small family brunch the next day. This was filmed on a Friday and by this time it was probably 7.30, 8 o'clock if not later. Um, I was very tired. I had went to work, um, got off work went um, to my mom's house picked the kids up then I came home then I cooked a very fast dinner just a cheesy chicken and broccoli and rice casserole with some leftover uh, rotisserie chicken that I had gotten from Sam's and then I had to clean and put up all of this stuff next to you you're like honey too would be I go crazy for the sweet when I'm next to you girl We had Chinese food the night before, so all of our leftover condiments I put in our condiment drawer with these white Dollar Tree organizers. definitely going to start picking up rotisserie chickens more often and using them in different recipes you can use chicken in so many different ways and this chicken will taste so good and it's so juicy it was never dry and I usually get them at um, Kroger but now we have a Sam's car so now I'm going to start picking up probably two a week or two every so often and deboning them and using the chicken in different recipes
So deep cleaning this deep fryer was not in the plan at all. I was just going to go ahead and like wipe it down and clean out the main part where the grease was because my husband had just dumped all of the old grease out. But y'all, oh my god, it was so greasy and so nasty as you can see by the basket. Oh, uh, it was like really, really bad and I just could not put it back together like that. I am going in with a Brillo pad, borax, and some soapy water to clean this metal basket. This took me so long to clean. I actually edited some of it out because it took forever. I think I used like two Brillo pads. I had to keep dumping it and soaking it back in the water. Like it was so greasy and so nasty. So if you've watched my previous videos, you already know that I like to put as much as I can in our dishwasher and then just wash the rest by hand. I do not like washing dishes. I'm sorry. I just don't. That's what they make dishwashers for. And I stuff mine to capacity. I am really not sure why we have so many bags of bread on our counter. We have two loaves of wheat bread, like some hamburger buns some um cinnamon raisin bagels which i love but it was like so many different kinds of bread i'm like what the world is going on cut me close to the heart but we can master the art and the thing is that these scars are scary but they are just small scars we should never be
Does anybody else use a gazillion towels when they clean? I feel like I use so many towels when I clean and when I feel like they're just gross and dirty and I can't clean anymore, I just throw them on the floor near the doorway so I don't pick them back up. This is the lid from the deep fryer. I initially thought this lid was supposed to be black, but as you can see by the shock in my face, y'all, I was surprised. This thing is actually silver. I don't think I've ever cleaned this lid. I didn't even realize it was this color. And it was at this moment that I knew I had bit off more than I could chew with trying to clean this deep fryer. Cause I know the people scared sometimes hope it's not this time cause I might go too fast suddenly I feel so rich no I don't know the thing no oh, I can't let this slip slip no I gotta see some 
Now that that lid is soaking, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of the things off the floor. Just mostly shoes and a couple of toys. As you can tell, I was working hard trying to scrub that deep fryer. There is water all over the front of my dress. I told you every single time, don't you worry You would always call me at the wrong time So you can know what I was up to Oh, don't you get that, it's just stupid, mm -hmm. So that little brittle pad was not working against this grease, all of this caked on, baked on grease from this deep fryer. So I had to pull out the big guns and get my metal scrubber out and it did the trick so quickly and so well and this is how it turned out. I cannot even believe that thing looked like that under all of that grease. Feels like I've been trying. So at this point the kids have gone to bed and now I'm going to go ahead and wipe down this table. And that is it you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Hey loves and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a day to night clean with me. I am folding and put away some laundry and I am also cleaning my master bathroom. If you are new here, my name is Rogina. I am a working mom, a boy mom, and I like to film cleaning, lifestyle, and organizing videos. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you like it and me enough to hit that subscribe button down below. To have a good time. My glass was always half empty. First, I'm going to start by folding and hanging up and putting away all of this laundry. This was probably about four loads of laundry that I had just sitting in front of the washing machine. Oh, I was putting it off. Y'all know I hate, hate, hate laundry, but it has to be done. Also, we have so much laundry nowadays with kids being out of school. It's summer. They want to play in the sprinkler and spray each other with the water holes. Plus, our two-year-old is potty training, so we are going through a lot of underwear, a lot of shorts. So it is, um, the laundry has amplified. Love, so I don't see you stopping now. My life's an adventure, cause you came along and showed me how.
video don't forget to hit that like button also leave a comment down below far away from the city lights As you can see, I am trying to enjoy my egg sandwich. I rarely, rarely eat breakfast, even when I cook it for everybody else. I'm just not a big breakfast person. I can never enjoy my food in peace. You see Caleb right there trying to get some of my sandwich. By now, you know I like to watch Netflix while I am folding and doing laundry. And I think I was watching Working Moms this day. It is a really funny show and it tackles a lot of things uh, working moms struggle with, like going back to work, not being able to produce enough breast milk, um, postpartum depression, um, going through a divorce with small children. It tackles so many different things and it is really funny. The white boxes that I am using to organize um, the socks and underwear are IKEA Scub boxes, S K U B B. Um, they come, I think, five or six in a pack. There's different sizes that you can use in your drawers, and I love them. I use them in my drawers and in the kids' room.
We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more You leave me hanging, begging for more Think that I'm addicted to this Can't resist to be a little risky and go For it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything to be in your arms again So give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you Here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign Could go for this, no more tricks We could take things slow Say you think about it too When the lights go out and there's no doubt That I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control, you push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in So give me a sign Give me a sign Baby, just give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you and here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign
doing that on your own I play cool Cause I hope you pick it up soon And you know just what to do Don't you Boy, just be honest Now this is later on in the evening. I had a load of laundry of my laundry that I needed to go ahead and wash. So I'm gonna throw those in the washing machine. This laundry room is definitely gonna be my next next project i have been trying to get done with um a christian's room it's been a very slow process because of corona but i am almost done and this is going to be next Spraying down everything with Lysol and I'm using Ajax in the shower since there was some discoloration. A thirsty night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you It struck me like lightning You broke my chains and released me And days turned into nights On the couch in your apartment No, I am not the same Everything has changed Every day
dust, but you see the real me Since I let you in under my skin, I'm more free than I have ever been this just reminded me that I need to get a detachable shower head to make this cleaning so much easier. I'm not sure why the builders decided to put the smallest shower they could find in this bathroom, but it was not a good idea. Everything has changed every day That scale had been broken for forever and I finally remembered to throw it away. Why you wanna run away? Why you gotta be afraid? I wish I could make you stay Cause baby I love you Why you tryna break us up? When I'm tryna build it up I wish I could make you stop Cause baby I love you Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight I'm gonna miss your body You know I, I had cleaned my room the night before But I forgot to get this fan So I'm gonna go ahead and dust it If I don't get you shoddy You bring out the sweetness of my life Oh yeah Come on and give me that, give me that And that is it you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, welcome back to Life with Ro Nicole. Today's video is an all day clean with me. I am finally tackling these neglected baseboards, doing a little bit of laundry, dusting the furniture, vacuuming a little bit of everything. If you are new, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. I love getting to know you guys down in the comment section, so please don't forget to leave a comment. Starting in my bedroom, I'm just going to go ahead and dust off the furniture with my dusting cloth. I didn't need to do anything too major in here. It was relatively clean, but I just wanted to go ahead and wipe down the furniture because I did notice some dust. I have been doing really good with keeping my room clean and folding laundry as I was washing it. I'm not sure what happened after this video, but now I have about six loads of laundry that need to be folded and my room my is an absolute mess.
So this is later on in the day. This is probably the second load of clothes that I had washed and now I'm just putting them in the dryer with the help of Caleb. I had to give him something to do y'all because he was trying to climb in the dryer. He was trying to climb in the washing machine. He was just doing the most. But it's over now. You brought out the best in me. We had everything we needed. You put me aside and turn out the lights for no reason. What's it on make believe? Something you never needed. What was it all for? I don't know you anymore. We go back, we go back, we go back, we collide. Losing track, losing track, even God knows I'm trying All of that stuff in the hallway is what I pulled out of my linen closet And then I realized that the Goodwills were closed and I didn't have anywhere to take it So I ended up backing it up and just taking it to a animal shelter No, I keep thinking Was I wasting my time Letting you into my life We had everything we needed You put me aside and turn out the lights For no reason Was it a make-believe? Something you never needed What was it all for? I don't know you anymore We go back, we go back, we go back, we collide Losing track, losing track, even God knows I'm trying So the basket you see on the floor that's always full of clothes is my husband. He refuses to empty that basket. Even when he folds clothes, he always leaves something in that basket. But there's something cold in the way you are The things you said Had me going good but it left a scar You invite me and then you turn me down Get my hopes up and then you're gone It is so satisfying to see all of that dust and dirt come out of my carpets But they actually really need to be shampooed So that is what's next on the list Lube of chemicals What's the point? So while vacuuming the floor, of course I pick up about six hairpins. I do not know where these hairpins are coming from, y'all. I think it's a conspiracy, kind of like the socks getting lost in the dryer. I'm just confused. It's always the same story with you, but I just cannot refuse you. I'm sad. So this was a Saturday after my nighttime cleaning routine. So the bathroom was pretty much clean at this point, but I still needed to clean the baseboards. They were gross and nasty and they had not been cleaned in forever. I'm just cleaning these baseboards with soap and water and a towel. And then I'm taking an old toothbrush and trying to get into the corners in those little grooves.
I bought a new organizing basket from Aldi that had a basket that pulls out on the top and on the bottom. My old one only had the basket that pulled out on the bottom. So I decided to change that out. Light me up, don't you stop. Cause tonight, it's on the line. Show me how you get on down. Close my eyes, take me for a ride. I did keep the old one, I just cleaned it and put it downstairs under my kitchen sink where it fits perfectly. So these little containers I got from Dollar Tree, I absolutely love them. The top folds down and you can stack them really easily. One I have my feminine care products, the other one I have my um, pedicure, um, fingernail polish and all that good stuff. And then one I have my attachments to my blow dryer and then the other little blue basket is all of my skin care products my African black soap my mask my Clarisonic on the inside wall I have all of my heat tools hanging on these little hooks I got those from the Dollar Tree as well they come four in a pack and they actually work really really well I've used them to hang um, Christmas decor and wreaths and things like that so they do work that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one hey you guys and welcome back to the channel it's rogina here and today is a clean and declutter with me I am getting rid of all of my kids old fall and winter clothes things that I know they won't be able to wear this coming up fall and winter also I am tackling some laundry that needs to be folded and just decluttering their closet and get rid of all of these broken hangers and random pieces of toys that need to be thrown away if you are new here welcome 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 i am a wife a full-time working boy mom and i also create content right here on youtube thank you so much for clicking on this video i hope you like it and me enough to hit that subscribe button down below also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you are notified every time i upload a video
of way too small. They're not gonna even be able to fit next year. And then, let me zoom down. Pile of, um, I don't know, zoom in. I have a pile of, he probably will be able to wear these next year. And then, um, I have a pile of what needs to be hung. No, you know what? Now. <sighs> okay, so. Yeah. Oh, and these are all clothes that are too small, too. And that's his old baby bath. I need to get, like, all of this stuff away, y'all. I still have his little snow suits. Like, he cannot fit any of this stuff, so I'm going to try to find someone who needs them versus giving them to the Goodwill. But I have so much stuff. I still have his baby blankets over here. Don't judge me, y'all. It's so hard to let it go. But yeah, I need to get rid of all of this stuff. Like... A million people in the crowd But I only see your face in all the lights And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby I really want to make you mine I don't really care about love I don't really care about happy ever afters Something about you gives me hope Something about you, yeah
lie to me Now I keep thinking Was I wasting my time Letting you into my life You brought out the best in me We had everything we needed You put me aside and turn out the lights And that is it you guys I hope you enjoyed the video And I will see you in the next one I ran away from heartbreak Got nothing in return for my pain I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid hey. Wasn't looking for Hi you guys and welcome back to the channel Today I'm going to be cleaning my kitchen also my bathroom and I'm probably gonna tackle this dining room as well I'm not sure this is gonna be a power hour uh, whatever I don't get done today it'll either get done tomorrow or later on in the afternoon cuz I don't want to spend all day cleaning up all right you guys we're gonna hop right into it I am setting my timer and I'm going to head right into the dining room to start cleaning of course, no good power hour is complete without some great music to dance along to. As you can see, I was listening to J. Cole. Y'all, I have to listen to something I can bop to, do a little twerk to. You know, you have to keep that energy up and keep it going. Notice that you were checking for me. We were just friends, but we started. 
slowly building trust and my fragile heart started to mend yeah. So our dining room has been a catch-all for a while um, putting this dining room across the hall and then putting some desks in this room and just making it to an office space where uh, we and the kids can work because we have two living spaces right next to each other and they one of them is serving absolutely no purpose. Paying for space that we are not using is a complete waste of money to me so yeah I think that is what's going to happen. that I was supposed to be getting NAMI, which is a mental health um, nonprofit to come and pick up. But I forgot to set them outside on the porch the day they were supposed to pick them up. I just completely forgot about it. So they should be coming to pick those up next week so I can get rid of all of those bags. Those are just two out of like six bags that we have of old clothes that uh, we and our kids cannot wear anymore. So okay, I'm just going along cleaning, back in my mind in my own business, and I accidentally bumped this metal um, art piece on the wall. I almost, <laughs> I almost choked on my coffee, y'all. I did not want this thing to fall and damage my floor. Hey, please don't touch me like that. Cause you know I'll react. Don't make me do this I feel so foolish No Breaking rules and that's facts, facts, facts If your dude knew you was coming over That would be a problem If our friends knew undercover love And they would try to solve it So Moving on to the bathroom, I am using Lysol wipes to wipe down the countertop and the vanity toilet bowl cleaner to clean the inside of the toilet and then I'm using some diluted bleach to spray down the toilet um, the bottom of the toilet and the floor around the toilet I've noticed this has helped to uh, get rid of that urine smell even after I was using Lysol I was still smelling like urine and I think the urine was like in the grout so once I started spraying the area around the toilet and the grout lines around the toilet with bleach it has eliminated that urine smell but I will say that spraying my toilet seat is probably not a good idea um, because it is stripping the enamel off of my toilet seat so I probably won't be cleaning my toilet with the bleach I'll just be spraying around the bottom of the toilet and around the floor around the toilet with bleach 
Now we are about to tackle the beast, honey. This kitchen. Ooh, this kitchen. Oh, it's gonna be oh, it's it's gonna be the death of me cleaning this kitchen. But we are going to get it together right now. Start by decluttering and wiping down this table with some Lysol Kitchen Pro. microwave to get them extra hot when I'm wiping down the counters but y'all okay see what had happened was I left the towel in the microwave way too long you know you put it in there you start doing other stuff you forget it is in there so when I went to grab it out it was so freaking hot like seriously so hot so if you do this please be careful wipe down the stove and clean the microwave.
Which is why I was able to get a lot done. He was kind of just, you know, waking up, chilling on the couch, drinking his little almond milk. Right? That's his morning routine. So I was able to get a lot of stuff done in this power hour. I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you. Here's your time to shine. I'll show me what you can do. The way my hands feel on your body. The way we're dancing in the dark. I told you guys about the barkeeper's friend stainless steel cleaner in the last video if you have not already got some girl I don't know what you're waiting for it cleans so so good I love it for that I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you Here's your time to shine, I'll show me what you can do Make a move The way my hands feel on your body We were dancing in the dark With every move I make your so I'm just spraying down the appliances and wiping everything off and don't be like me and over spray the product all over the appliances and have to wipe 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 until everything is off So this day, Pandora was playing all of the jams, all of the bops, honey, and your girl was going right along with it. You know how sometimes you can put on a radio, well, a station on Pandora and you have to skip like every other song because it's like, why, why is this playing? But this was not one of those days. They were playing all of the hits. Y'all already know I am loading my dishwasher to full capacity and then I'm going to go ahead and run it and everything I can't fit in or needs to be hand washed. I'm going to wash that and I am done. And this is the final look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Hello lovelies and welcome back to the channel. It's Rogina here and today's video is a clean with me. I am cleaning the kids bathroom, my bathroom, doing some laundry and vacuuming. So yes, this video is jam packed with cleaning motivation. If you are new here, I am a boy mom, a wife, and I work full time. And on top of all of that, I like to film YouTube videos. 
Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you like it and me enough to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. You had to, cause you know I throw your suitcase out the window. I don't need you here to feel good. No, I'm not angry, I got better things to do. Tell your friends I will be just fine. Don't need no therapist, there's nothing like, nothing like wine.
I could call you, I'm gonna call you You are 